Hey guys, uh, here in front of me, I have four remote controls. Well, you say, what do they have in common or what do they have to do with the video? Well, it's the IR blaster or infrared module that's here on top. All of them use kind of the same technology right here, as you see. It's to transmit to a infrared reader on the TV or DVR or whatnot. But what if I told you that not too long ago, actually, we used Bluetooth for a completely different reason besides to control TVs and DVRs and whatnot. Well, it was phones that actually use uh, infrared to transmit files between them, not just numbers, but pictures as well. I'm going to go to the camera on this one, which will be probably mediocre, take a picture and send it to this phone via Infrared, yes, that same infrared that's used on remote controllers. Let me put this right here, and the picture will be really, really bad, probably. Okay, picture has been taken. So now in order to send it to the other phone, we have to go to the other phone and find our infrared connection. Usually it should be here at connectivity. Yes, it has Bluetooth as well. We click infrared, infrared reception is on, and now there's an infrared thingy right here that says it's ready to receive infrared files or just cooperate with any infrared. We go to options, at options we go to send, and right here we have either Bluetooth or infrared. We click infrared, we put the infrared readers next to each other, and as you saw there, the infrared stopped blinking, and we got an image. We click show at my stuff, and here's the image we just received. This is the remote control that we took a picture of, but this was a technology that you had to be quite close to each other. The infrared reader, uh, reader receiver is on this side, and for this one is on this side. And yes, there used to be Symbian apps that you can probably still find today for these Symbian phones that you can install the app and actually use this as a remote for your TV, DVD, or VHS, or whatever you had, just as you would use a regular remote. But now, these are not the only ones, because you might say these are all from 2003 and 2006, which is quite old to some st standards, but these are not the only ones that had this technology. This one, yes, existed before these two. And we're talking about phones that this one, if I'm not wrong, is from 98, 99, and this one, 2000, 2001. So let me turn them both on right here. That one is turning on, and this one is turning on. Yes, that's how phones booted back in that time. One is AT&T, one is Singular, which they are both AT&T now. And these both have infrared module, just like those two that look a little bit smarter. In this one, the infrared module is here on top. In this one, is still on top, kind of the same uh, placement. To activate that infrared module, you just had to go to the menu, which is bringing a lot of memories right now. Infrared, click select infrared reception is activated now to send with infrared usually was for contacts and all that kind of stuff and we're gonna do just that right now go to contacts i have to go with here go to the names polar groups one touch dialing options list names option and let's see if we can uh, send this one send card via infrared now the infrared on this one as you see is active here we have to put them uh, face in each other's infrared click ok here and as you see the infrared here should stop and we received a business card click show and as you see that's the business card okay and yes they both were equipped with some sort of internet if you want to call it that and here we go now let me open the slider and yes this was the keyboard on it and uh let me go to the internet and uh, you might get a kick out of this one a laugh probably let's go down to the wherever it says internet looks like i passed it services yes home clear the cache what's hot mail and messaging tones it was a real thing to download ringtones this one here uh news and finance sports let me click sports call ended usually it would do it like the dial-up to do it through a call but of course right now we don't have anything on this one so it's not gonna make that call <laughs> 
This is very interesting. And as you see, yes, these are all equipped with infrared back from back in the day. This is, I think, 2003. This is 2005, 2006. This is 1998 to 1999. And this is 2000, 2002. And I think it continued even afterwards. They brought a new version instead of this kind of greenish screen. It had like a brighter white screen, but it was basically the same monochrome and no colors. But the newer version had the so-called internet services, which are very interesting. And yes, the favorite game of everybody was Snake. And if you never played Snake, I suggest you try it because you get hooked on it. <laughs> It makes you forget about all the games that you're playing and just play game Snake for hours. And as you see, it is very fast. I, fast. I wonder what the frame rate is on this one. But as you see, look, I'm almost winning. And yeah, basically, these are the phones that were back then. And if you try to get on some of them, the uh, IMEI number, nothing. <laughs> it doesn't even go to the IMEI. And you can call and it just says, wait for service. And this one, I think it shows IMEI. Let me see here. As you see, serial number. It starts with 01. That, sh that tells you something. And this one was interesting with a keyboard. Does all around. And yes, this is some kind of discoloration that's going on. But hey, it is what it is. It had uh, all this stuff actually on it that you could uh, go to the menu and you had the camera you had the internet services on this one too as you see it's equipped with the latest stuff here mode gprs wow connect to the service but we don't have service on this one because it's out of service i actually would like to try and see if it's possible to find a carrier that still serves 2g i think t-mobile does it but i'm not so sure what plan would even work with 2g and yes this one has kind of the same stuff too and this is just very interesting in my opinion to have these phones around just to remind us where we really came from another one similar to them was this other nokia here not to speak about the super designs that Nokia did later. Let me show you one real quick. Believe it or not, yes, this is a phone from the 2000s. Nokia from Verizon. It had three megapixels camera. That's, that's a lot. As you see right there, throughout the fingerprints, that's a three megapixel full camera. And how this phone worked, just like that. Actually, for some reason, I like this form factor. Yes, this is a whole that goes through people used to put lanyards here and hold it like that and you would actually answer the call by twisting it like that and closing it back up on the back here is the cover the buttons on the side and here it goes it says that has zero battery obviously express your opinion on the comments below and let me know if you have one of these laying around what you think about them should we still use some of them it would be fun actually would you use one of them? That might be the question. And uh, next video or a few videos later, I might take a look at some old Motorola's, not only Nokia's. Let me know what you think about that, if you think I should do it. And with that said, please like and subscribe and share this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye!